Calchuchesta Origins by Sam D. A gut-wrenching scream echoed through the near-abandoned hallways of the maternity ward. It was 3.24 a.m. and Anthony Fantano, the internet's busiest music nerd, had just entered his fifth hour of labor. It was Dr. MC Ride's first day on the job, and he hadn't slept in 30 hours. He was growing tired of Anthony's moans and screams. However, he knew deep inside that he must persevere. He arrived at the door of Fantano's private room and took a deep breath. He was about to deliver the bad news, the worst part of the job. So he was told. Though, the news wasn't entirely grim. MC Ride was just worried about his lack of any proper medical training. He had, however, seen footage of the procedure he was about to perform. (laughs) Unfortunately, he insisted to his new colleagues that he had, in fact, remained paranoid about it. He slowly pushed open the door to reveal his assistant nurse, Jeff Mangum, tending to a very red-faced and sweaty and distressed... (laughs) Fantano. After he had made himself apparent and gained their attention, Dr. Ride finally imparted the news. It was going to be a more complicated procedure than we had once thought. The pair shared a brief moment in silence as they stared blankly at Ride. Waiting for him to explain what he meant, the x-rays have come back, and we are shocked to say the least, he continued. Let me ask, Mr. Fantano, were the circumstances that led you to becoming pregnant peculiar? The question Anthony dreaded most. He wished he could answer, but it was difficult to pinpoint exactly where or when it had happened. The last year had been a blur for Anthony, from tirelessly looking after the seven kids he had already had, to his favorite experimental hip-hop outfit calling it quits, to being stranded in the harsh Australian deserts for a week or so. He was ashamed to admit that he had found himself drinking more. His morning jar of fruit smoothie had turned into a morning jar of fruit smoothie with tequila, and the repercussions were now rearing their head. Between gasps, he uttered, I don't know. Dr. Ride nodded, and that was the answer he expected. This was no everyday pregnancy, as far as he knew. He finally decided to be transparent about the situation. Mr. Fantano, you have a big baby. There was a brief pause for Dr. Ride to examine the perplexed faces of Anthony and Jeff. Hella big. So big, we don't even know how it fits in your womb. We're going to have to perform a C-section. Jeff knew exactly what to do. He shuffled out of the room to go get supplies in the cabinet and retrieve the surgical tools required for the procedure. He returned quickly, carrying a single scalpel as well as an old tape deck and a nylon string acoustic guitar that had frankly seen much better days. Before Ride could inquire as to what the fuck Jeff thought he was doing, the heavily bearded Christmas sweater wearing assistant nurse interrupted. You guys gotta check out my new mixtape. Since Dr. Ride knew no better about how hospital practices, he was all too happy for Jeff to plug in the tape deck. He always worked better to music anyway. Jeff inserted the tape and spent a couple of minutes fast forwarding. Are you ready? He asked. He didn't wait for a response though, nor did Dr. Ride. He already had the scalpel in his hand and was ready to work. Two, one, two, three, four. Jeff sang as he introduced the song Holland 1945. The only girl I've ever loved was born with roses in her eyes. He continued singing as Dr. Ride snipped away at Anthony Fantano's violently swollen uterine walls. The song had worked wonders and brought the procedure some serious momentum. Aw shit, I'm feeling it exclaimed Dr. Ride excitedly. He was now able to lift the gargantuan infantile abomination from Fantano's wretched womb. Holland 1945 had stopped playing, and the tape had moved on to the next song, Communist Daughter, a much slower and mellow track which fit perfectly with the relief the three were now feeling. Dr. Ride handed Fantano his newborn child as Jeff sung solemnly in the background. Semen stains the mountaintops, semen stains the mountaintops. Thankful the entire ordeal was over, Dr. Ride inquired about the name of the child. He will be named Calchuchesta, <laughs> replied. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Replied a very relieved Anthony. The song was wrapping up with some horns that sounded like fanfare. Dr. Ride and his trusty assistant nurse turned to leave, 
before he shut the door behind him, Jeff imparted one final piece of wisdom. Be sure to feed him tomatoes and radio wire. Anthony Fantano, the internet's busiest music nerd, smiled and nodded reassuringly before lowering his shirt and allowing his newborn son to feed for the first time. Oh, God. 